when you perform a event like for that event a event handler need to execute right so simple events like like switch is a event switch is a event handler yeah switch is a event when you click on switch let's say if you have a fan here fan used to rotate for suppose so here whenever you click on this event this event handler will do what it will perform some actions here right when you switch on it will rotate when you switch off it will stop it right so in case of this tomcat event handlers our servlet container event handlers servlet container it have some event handlers which event handlers it have whenever you start your container whenever you start your servlet container whenever you start your servlet container container means your tomcat server okay whenever you start your server on that start event whenever you start it on that start event you can execute one event handler you can execute one event handler when you start your container in the same way when you stop your container when you call stop on start and stop it need to execute same event handler right when you switch on and switch off only the same listener need to respond right when you switch on fan need to rotate when you switch off fan need to stop in the same way when you start your container it will start one event handler when you call stop it will stop that event handler okay so which event handler servlet container will start in case of starting your servlet container there is one servlet context listener see if you implement any class here class okay class test class test 1 implements from servlet context listener servlet context listener if you implement your class from servlet context listener class if you implement from this class it will provide two life cycles methods two life cycle methods context init method context init method and context destroy method it will provide two methods context init and context destroy so when you call this start it will start context initialization method on container start it will execute it on container start when you start your container it will instantiate your listener when it will instantiate your listener class at the time of container startup itself when you start your container automatically test one class object it will create similar like your filter classes for filter also it will do eager instantiation right we no need to configure any load on startup without having load on startup filter object automatically it will create similar like load on startup servlets in the same way this listener class object also at the time of container startup itself it will create and only one object it will create for entire application so when you call this start when you call this start it will instantiate your listener class along with instantiation it will call init method context initialization method it will execute on container startup it will execute this method and when you call stop when you shut down your container it will call context destroy method on context to shut down on context to close when you call your close method or stop method whatever it is when you call your container stop or close methods it will call context to destroy so this one is one event handler using what we need to implement this event handler servlet context listener and there is one more event handler there is one more event handler when that event handler it will execute generally whenever you try to log in whenever you try to log in username by giving username password if you enter your username password along with your login credentials when you click login here when you click login here this username password we need to test in database we need to check for that username and password in database in database if you have any username password table username and password if you have here whether that username and password is there in table or not we need to check so when we need to check at the time of first time login we need to check once after login success once after login success in case if you log into your gmail is it mandatory to check username password every time while going to compose or while going to send items or dropbox okay we used to operate multiple windows once after login 
so in case if you don't apply any security if anybody do url copy rewriting if you copy url and if you try to paste in another browser or else if anybody if they note your url and if they try to log in from their browsers there are some kind of security issues right so what internally it will do whenever you try to log in first time it will check username password from the database let's say here if you have a username and one password here first time it will check in database first time it will check for your username and password in database only one time it will check later what it will do in case if username password success they used to keep the data into session until closing your browser by getting data from session they will compare whether this username and password is there in database or not getting so on every browser like once after logging into your gmail if you go to send items or inbox anywhere after logging if you go to like we have some other links right uh, something google drives if you move anywhere they used to maintain your same session every time they used to check your, your username and password in case username and password if not exist in session they used to return to login page again getting so once after checking into database they used to keep data into which object session object so whenever you try to create a session here whenever you create a session whenever you create session how to create a session by using get session method of http servlet request request dot get session if you call then it will provide us session object right so whenever you create a session object in your servlet whenever you create session when we need to create in case of login this kind of use cases if you have or else while doing multi-form registration we used to create session objects right in case if you create a session on session creation it will execute one listener whenever you create a session we can create sessions right finally in session class there is one invalidate method session dot invalidate means it will destroy your session it will close your session when you log out your session should not continue right so when you call invalidate it will delete your session data it will close your session object internally so whenever you create a session whenever you invalidate a session whenever you start a session whenever you try to close a session then on start session on close session it will execute session listener test 2 you can implement your test 2 class from servlet session listener if you implement from this session listener it will provide us session init and session destroy methods here session init and session destroy methods so when this methods it will it will execute session init method it will execute at the time of creating session and this session destroy method it will execute at the time of invalidate when you call invalidate it will close the session when you call init it will call the init method so using this init method and destroy methods what we can do up to a person login like if you try to login once after login per particular user if you want to provide any initializations on session object whenever you try to login on login if you want to provide any things to user see whenever you start your container it will execute this test one listener on container startup it will execute so throughout application if you require anything like startup thing throughout application before going to execute your operations if you want to start anything before getting while starting your container itself you want to prepare something here getting before you wake up if your mother if, you, if, if, if she cook and if you like put carriage for you while going to college you just keep your carriage and you can move right so in the same way this listener what it will do when you start your container when you start your container servlets will execute filters will execute but before executing servlets before executing filters what listeners will do listeners will execute first means first it will wake up after that your filters and servlets will wake up getting so listeners will execute first so if you want to prepare anything for filters or for servlets you can prepare them here getting so it will start first so it can prepare anything here so that prepared things you can use throughout application in the same way coming to session listener when you create a session for your complete session if you require any initializations you can do that initialization here once after closing your session once after closing your session if you want to destroy anything you can write from here okay on session initialization on session initialization it will execute on session invalidation it will execute on session invalidate 
okay so how many sessions it used to create container for every user one one session for every user until closing your browser same session getting once if you open your browser until closing your browser it will use same session like uh, if you wait for a half an hour up to half an hour it will use same session object right if container default session timeout if it is 30 minutes up to 30 minutes it will maintain your session once if you close your browser and if you start new browser it will create one more new session so for every browser startup it will execute session listener means from here if you try to log in internally if you create a session object then it will execute your session listener in the same way once after logging once after login user every time he can request for data right he can call for get method or post method to get data from server or to feed data into server so for every user request in case if you request once after logging from this browser itself if you request for 100 times 100 times if you request from here how many session objects it will create only one session object it will create once after login if you request 100 times also it will execute i mean it will create session only one time at first time login it will create one session for your browser and for every user request for every user request internally container will do what it will prepare a request and response objects right while preparing your request object while preparing your request object it will execute one more event handler if you implement one more listener test 3 implements request listener there is one request listener here we have one request initialization method and request destroy methods so when you request request means for every user request for every server call it will create one request object just if you call a url it will prepare one request object just if you submit your data it will create a request object if you request data from server it will create a request object so for every click it will create one request object on server so for every click it will create one one request object let's say if thousand users if they request thousand users if they request at a time and everyone if they request for 10 times how many object it will create finite it will create 10000 request objects 10000 request objects it will create for every user request it will create object once after finish once after finishing his response it will destroy that object so it will create and it will destroy it will create and destroy for every user request it will create a request it will destroy request create request and it will destroy request once after completion of his operation why request required here it will close that request object so request object once if you send data from here to here once if you get response from here to here your request object will be closed request life cycle is up to what once if you submit data once if it returns data to you your request object time will be closed okay time will i mean here once if it create object at the time of request if it send a response through the response object their container will prepare two objects request and response through request your data it will submit to servlet through response it will pass data to you okay once after submitting data through response this request object and this response objects life cycles will be closed so when you create request object it will call request initialization method when you destroy your request object it will call request to destroy method so if you want to count how many users requested my application how many widgets came to my application if you want to know he can track information here for every user request it will execute init method right so here you can do count put some count operation so that count continuously it will increase when you click request when you click here it will prepare a request on request it will execute init method so here put one counter do plus plus operation for every request it used to increment that count and if you want to know how many users logged in you can put count here okay how many users log in how many users log out you can find from here by putting count okay so there are three listeners one is select context listener one is session listener and one is request listener when context listener will execute on container startup when you call close it will call the destroy method and when you create a session it will execute session listener when you invalidate your session it will call your session listener destroy method when you create a request object it will execute request listener request initialization method when you destroy your request object it will call request to destroy methods okay these three listeners we have okay